Last year we went to Japan for the first time and we made some comics all about our trip. Our first stop, Ikebukuro and the gigantic Bandai Gashapon department store. Ooh, look! Gashapon! Me! Hold up! More Gashapon! Stop! I found more Gashapon! Do you need a hand with those? Look at all our little treasures! The Gashapon department store in Sunshine City has over 3,300 Gashapon machines! And we only recently found out that we actually missed half of them! This place is huge! Luckily, Gashapon capsule machines can be found all over Japan, and we found so many cool things in them! Including the slime, which was cooler than Steph realised! Are you pleased with your Gashapon haul? Oh yes! I mean, look at this guy! How could he be more perfect? Impossible! Okay, good night! What? He glows? It got better! I love glow-in-the-dark things, and both of these guys do that! Here's the moment where I first found out. Steph, what you got there? Slime. There you go. <laughs> Next up, Super Nintendo World! I need to pee, but I can wait until we're inside. So many bob -ombs. All of the Goombas! Oh my gosh, I'm starstruck! So cool! Didn't you need the loo? I forgot! I got too swept up in the magic. One of the places we were most excited about visiting was Universal Studios Japan and Super Nintendo World. We're both big Nintendo fans and seeing all of the blocks and Goombas and Piranha Plants was really cool and special. We even got a little commemorative coin stamped, which was super cool. I've never used one of these things before. Oh, it's so hot! We got to see a big parade with a huge Mario Kart play, and we took loads of pictures before we moved on to the rest of the park. Oh no! Is this a water ride? I don't want to get soggy! It's probably not that wet. Hmm... Okay. Sploosh! Oops. We got soaked! Luckily the weather was nice. We eventually dried out. Hey, are you enjoying these comics? Because if so, we made a book! And it's got loads more of them inside. It's called Our Super Japanese Adventure and it's available now from our online shop. Now we're off to the Studio Ghibli Museum. They said that these film cells are also tickets to the little cinema here. Whoa! These are the most beautiful tickets I've ever seen! Wait. They don't take them away when we go to the cinema, do they? Oh! I don't want to lose such a nice memento! Ah! Don't worry, you get to keep them. The Studio Ghibli Museum was another place we wanted to visit for years. It's a really magical place and it was amazing getting to see the storyboards and art cells from Ghibli films. So what do you want to do first today? I want to eat a Totoro! I bet he's delicious! Well, oh. But then... I don't think I can eat this. It's adorable! Yeah, I'm having second thoughts. Just kidding! Humph! After a magical morning in the museum, we visited the nearby Shirohige's cream puff shop and picked up some Totoro's. They were delicious! Next on our trip, we took a day trip to Kyoto. Wow, this place is incredible! But there's so many stairs! It's all uphill! Now we're at the top, there's an amazing view and ice cream! All is forgiven! Fushimi Inari Shrine is famous for its thousands of red Tori gates which follow a path of stairways uphill until you get to some viewpoints with some incredible scenic views of Kyoto. And ice cream. Ooh! Look! A shrine cat! Aww! And another one! So sleepy! Shrine cats! I miss our cat so much right now. Same. 
The worst thing about visiting Japan for us was leaving our cats for almost two weeks. It was nice to see some feline friends sleepily hanging out around the shrine. Shrine Cats! Next, and the last destination for this video, Yokohama and the Gundam Tower. Whoa, a robot vacuum cleaner! Do you think we'll see lots of robots in Japan? So it's been over a week and you know what? Not that many robots. Yep. This one definitely makes up for it though. So big! I've been building Gundam kits for years, so when I found out that a life-size moving RX-78 Gundam existed, we had to go see it, and it didn't disappoint. It was incredible. There's also a shop, a small museum, and a cafe, but the moving Gundam is definitely the star attraction. Sadly, they're closing down the attraction this year. I want to know who gets to keep it. That wasn't all we did in Yokohama, though. Basically, you just pick up what you want from the conveyor belt. Just like Sushi Go Around from Pokemon Stadium! I want this one! Oh, and one of these! I've never felt more like a Lickitung. We visited Kira Sushi for the first time, a conveyor belt sushi restaurant where you get a chance at winning a small capsule ball prize for every five plates you return via a little slot in your table. Sadly, we used up all of our luck when we booked our Ghibli Museum tickets, so we didn't get anything on this occasion. Hey, you don't need luck. Now when you've got me. Look, it's those little guys that you like. I'm gonna win one for you. Whoa, I did it? You did it! I have never felt so powerful in my entire life. Yep, that's a little blue ham ham plushie just hanging out on the claw machine until, boom, I totally picked that little guy out of nowhere. My hero. We did a bunch more on this trip, but for now, let's skip the 14 hour plane home and get back to the cats. Do you think the cats missed us? It's been so long. Maybe they've forgotten who we are. What? Just kidding. Of course they missed us. <coughs> the feeling is mutual, guys. 